Hey everybody, how's it going? Extreme Trends here. Today, we're going to have a look at the weird and wonderful world of man-made creatures. It's a scary prospect having a mouse grow a human ear or a cow with more muscle mass than Arnold Schwarzenegger, but as scary as it might be, these things are 100% real. It's definitely not for the faint of hearted, so take a moment to compose yourself. These definitely aren't the kind of animals you would want to make a pet out of. So let's take a look at the 10 craziest animals created by science. Number 10, Featherless Chicken. This extremely bored little fellow was created by scientists at the Rehovit Agronomy Institute in Tel Aviv in the early 2000s. Why you would want a featherless chicken, you ask? Well, the idea was to create a type of plow tree that would have an even better chance at surviving in hotter countries where heavily feathered birds don't tend to like. While it's an interesting idea, it was soon discovered to be a bit useless. It might have made them cooler, but it also made them more prone to parasite bites mosquitoes and even sunburn. What's more, they couldn't flap their wings which led to mating issues and less reproduction of chickens. Scientists insist that the birds wasn't genetically modified though and that it comes from a natural bread and has been around for half a century. But we all know the secret truth. I guess the positive with these chickens is that you won't be finding a feather in your meal anytime soon. Number 9, Human Pig Chimera. Earlier this year, the science community was shaken by a potentially huge breakthrough. During an important study, scientists combined human and pig embryos to grow an extremely rare hybrid. The idea is that we would be able to grow vital human organs inside of the pig to use in transplants, putting an end to the lengthy waiting list and fatal consequences for many patients. Juan Carlos, who led the work on the creature, said that the ultimate goal is to grow functional transplantable tissue or organs, but that is just the first step in the process. The end goal might be a way off, but we have to admit, the thought of a part pig, part human animal is something that's a little scary. If that kind of technology is available, then who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. For all that we know, we could all be oinking in a matter of years. Number 8, Mosquito. Mosquitoes are everyone's least favourite critters. They're bitey, horribly annoying, and what's more, they can carry all sorts of nasty diseases like malaria. Back in 2016, UK company Oxitec decided to set their sight on the bug to try and adapt it to a better use. By altering two genes in a specific type of mosquito, the Aedes aegypti, they hoped that they would be able to eradicate future generations of mosquitoes in one fell swoop. When the males inbred with females, the offspring would inherit a gene that would cause them to never pass the larvae stage. That way, any mosquitoes would pass away before they could go on to infect humans or pass on any illnesses. The idea was to try out this plan in the Florida Keys to try and control the outbreak of dengue fever in the future. However, local residents weren't thrilled with the idea of a genetically modified mosquito in an area that held only 400 households and railed hard against the prospered idea. Still, scientists argue that it could be an incredibly effective way to prevent fatalities in the future. Number 7, Vacanti Mouse. Now this one is a little bit complicated, but bear with us. 20 years ago in 1997, the world was still rendering from the loss of Princess Diana, and Microsoft was officially the world's most valuable company, valued at $261 billion. It was a time for many firsts, including a human ear on a mouse's back. The picture of Joseph Vacanti's nude mouse started circulating, to the outrage of many who believed that it was unnatural to grow a human ear on on a mouse's back. While the world railed against genetically modifying, Vacanti assured the media that there was no such thing going on. The human ear is the hardest part of the body to repair, and by growing a three-year-old's ear from cow cartilage, they were given it a basis that was 97% air. They needed to place it on a living organism that would give the cells energy to grow, hence the mouse. While the ear was just a theory experiment, cow cartilage would never be accepted by a human body. Although Although the Vaganti brothers did use their research to help 12 year old Sean McCormack who was born without some cartilage in his chest. Number 6, Mutant Dog. It was the medical breakthrough that CNN called it as terrifying as it is extraordinary. Chinese scientists decided that a normal dog wasn't good enough and that they needed to be twice as strong. Unlike our previous entry, this is all to do with genetic engineering. The idea was that the process used to create these super mutant dogs could be used in humans to prevent the proneness to diseases. The study was published in the Journal of Molecular Cell Biology in 2015. Professor Zion 
Brian Jo proclaimed that the model could help them prevent Parkinson's disease as well as muscular dystrophy. The two lovable pups named Hercules and Tiangu had a certain gene extracted when they were just tiny embryos. The melastodon gene controls muscle growth in animals, so by taking this away, the four-legged friends were able to grow much bigger, leaner, and much more muscular. It might sound like a surefire bet, but out of a study of more than 60 dog embryos, only two were successful. Despite the two successes, the study has a very long way to go. Number 5. Hypoallergetic Pets Many people struggle with pet allergies. If you're one of the unlucky ones, you know the drill. Constantly sneezing, itchy eyes, and worst of all, you're not able to give those adorable fluffy cats and dogs a nice cuddle. Life is truly unfair. However, in 2006, Alerka Lifestyle Pets tried to overcome this barrier, claiming that they had the very first scientifically proven hypoallergenic cat. They came at a price though, ranging from 4000 to 20000 $28,000 with a wait list of over a year. It seemed too good to be true and unfortunately it was. ABC's The Lookout decided to take a look into the company and its claims after a buyer complained that she had spent thousands of dollars on a lurker cats only for her children to have such severe allergic reactions that she had to give them away. After Indoor Biotechnologies, a company that specializes in allergies, took a look into the samples of the hypoallergenic cats, it was determined that they were no different from any other regular the run mile feline. While the idea is great, don't be throwing your allergy treatments away just yet. Number 4, Transparent Frog. Now, I know what you're thinking, why in the world would we need a transparent frog? Well, the answer is pretty fascinating. Ten years ago, Japanese scientists decided to start the project with the aim of creating a frog with see-through skin. By giving the amphibian transparent flesh, they were able to easily study the organs from the outside, all the way from birth to adulthood. This would allow them to research diseases such as cancer and harmful effects of certain chemicals and drugs without having to dissect the frogs. What's more, they were able to attach fluorescent markers to a stretch of DNA and inject it into the frog and see it, enabling them to study the behavior of genes in a living being. The frog was created through selective breeding, so technically no genetically modifying took place at all, just a lot of science. Just like our friends the mutant dogs, this project still has a long way to go, with only one of the 16 breads having transparent skin. With years to come though, this could have a huge impact in modern medicine. Number 3, a Belgian Blue Super Cows. Warning, this one might put you off your next Big Mac when you go to McDonald's. In 2015, a clip surfaced on social media of two bulls with ginormous muscles grazing in a field. The bulls are extremely enlarged from their legs to their head. It didn't take long for the animal rights campaigners to get a hold of the story, focusing in on the apparent discomfort of the animal and claiming that they were a result of steroid injections. However, others claimed that the bulls were simply born this way. The Belgian Blue breed is born with a genetic mutation that causes their muscle mass to double in size rather than grow at a regular pace like their peers. The meat industry see this breeding as a blessing as they have also converted their food into muscle rather than fat. By breeding more of this kind of bull, it could revolutionize the beef production industry in the future. Over 1.1 million people viewed this clip on social media with most of them condemning the animal. One user however called them sick and sad, stating that the natural natural healthy looking character of the animal had been taken away. What do you think? Could you imagine seeing this animal on your plate? For me personally, I think this bull is a little too much to stomach. Number 2, Oscar. Creating artificial body parts is something that has captivated the scientific community for years. After all, if we could have the ability to reconstruct a human being that has been in a terrible accident, just like the $6 million man, then it could open up to a whole new realm of possibilities. In a 56 video series called The Muscular Body, Floris Kike narrates what is called the Oscar Project. Oscar is a 3D printed modular body and it looks like an uncut chicken. Unfortunately, while the prospect is intriguing, it's just a visual creation, not a physical one. If you're interested, the entire series can be watched on the modular body website. It may not be an actual creature, but other modular creatures do exist. One thing's for sure though, Oscar definitely got us all thinking about what the future holds for manufactured organisms.
Number one, the Umbuku Lizard. Sometimes when scientists work on a project, there's really no complex backstory or reasoning for doing it. They're not working on saving lives or curing a disease, but merely attempting to do something that has never been achieved before. Engineers in Zimbabwe decided to turn their attention to a small and rare little lizard called Zimbuku. The little creature has a rare strand of DNA inside it, which lays dormant a flying gene. It is widely believed that they are a distinct descendant from the Peridactyl, which unfortunately lost its ability to fly many millions of years previously. It's a cool idea that saw some success, but like most things, it comes with a significant amount of risk. Can you imagine one of these fellas flying through your window? It would be pretty scary. Only six have been successfully bred to date and have kept strictly separate from the non-flying type to ward off the risk of cross-mating. So that has been the top 10 craziest animals created by science. If you did enjoy the video or found it interesting, then why not go check out one of our other videos by clicking a video on screen now. Before you do that though, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single upload. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video.